Hi everyone, how's it going? My name is Simon. Welcome to Tom and Strombash. And in today's video, I'd like to show you three ways how you can connect your eDrums with your DAW on your computer. Let's go. We've all been there. You've heard the e-drum preset kit sounds a thousand times. Programming the desired grooves just takes forever. And you want to record it yourself anyways. The sounds of the Millennium MPS-1000 e-drum set are already pretty good, but thanks to today's drum plugins, there are an endless number of samples that want to be played. And today, I'm going to show you how that goes. Many of today's drum plugins have preset MIDI maps from various e-drum manufacturers. With Addictive 2, for example, you have Toobox, Alesis, Megadrum, Roland or Yamaha. So just try the different presets and see if it works with your drum set. Let's start with the two box setting and see if it works with my drum set. If that doesn't work, you have the option of assigning MIDI node values to the individual pads in order to determine exactly what value you'd like to control. With the Millennium MPS-1000, you can find that function in the advanced subcategory of the setup menu. It's called NoteSend. The easiest way to demonstrate that is within Ableton's drum rack. So open Ableton and choose a drum set you like. In my case, it's the 64 pad kit special out of the drum booth pack. Double click it. And within this kit, I have 64 different sounds that I can route to my different drum pads. Either by drag and dropping the sound onto the slot that is already routed to my e-drums, or what I think is a little better, you change the MIDI note inside your drum module, because then you won't lose too much of an overview inside Ableton's kit. For example, let's switch out the bass sound and take a snare sound instead. Just change the MIDI note value of your kick pad. And... There you go. The big benefit of using your eDrums with a computer is that you can now easily edit the sounds with EQ, compressor, distortion and whatnot. So many opportunities. And one of my favorite effect change is with UAD's API 550A EQ for the individual sounds, the Thermionic Culture Vulture distortion on the full drum set, and as a bus compressor, I'd love to use the Empirical Labs Distressor. And to get even more punch, crunch, and low end, you can use Ableton's Drum Bus, which is an amazing onboard plugin. Here's the drum kit in Ableton with the effect chain, and then without. What different drum plugins often offer as well is the so-called MIDI learn function. That means that you can automatically determine 
where the MIDI signal should come from. With Superior Drummer 3, you can do that in the settings, choose MIDI in eDrums, and then you choose the sound you'd like to assign to the pad. For example, I want to change my snare center sound, so I hit the pad once, and I want to exchange it into the snare rim shot sound. I click on the sound, snare rim shot, click the button learn, hit the pad once, and now the snare rim shot sound is assigned to my snare pen and my snare center pen. Done, quick and easy. As you can see, everything is not rocket science, it's easy to adjust, and as soon as you've done that, push record, play the track, and then you can still change things, reprogram everything, and so on. All right, everybody, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or thoughts, please leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and give this video a thumbs up, and I see you next week Wednesday again in a new video. Take care, Simon out. Bye-bye.